Hello everyone, I'm Chao Zhang. Today, I will present our paper titled Observate Droid Scaffolding Children's Observations of Plant Biodiversity with an Interactive Drawing Tool. I extend my thanks to all of my colleagues Zili, Ya Jing, Lan Jing, Jia Yi, Ya Ping, Jian Hui, Ling Yan, Li Juan, Hang Yue, Fang Tian, and my advisor, Cheng. We address a problem where people, particularly children, are becoming less connected to everyday nature around them. This disconnection leads to limited understanding and lack of conservation efforts towards biodiversity. Observation is a vital tool in reconnecting children with nature, laying a foundation for their understanding of bio, 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 bio logical science. However, their observational skills are often underdeveloped, leading to superficial insights. Observational drawing, according to previous studies, can boost children's intuitive observations, helping them observe information and stay focused. Traditional non-digital tools like cranes and papers, however, like scaffolding for systematic observation and knowledge acquisition. Moreover, children tend to draw from memory or imagination rather than reality, indicating a skills gap that may prevent them from understanding biodiversity. With this in mind, and, and based on our previous work at IDC21, we outlined four primary design goals for an interactive drawing tool. It should is observational drawing, guide systematic observations, help observe details and scaffold knowledge acquisition. Thus, we designed BioSketchbook. BioSketchbook assists in systematic observation, observational drawing, and knowledge acquisition. It is children in finding and capturing plants, observing and drawing them, learning biology, and exploring more plant species. The app features a few key components. First, it converts captured photos into contour drawings to simplify the observational drawing process. Second, it guides children to observe multi-dimensional biology, a biological features such as morphology, colors and textures, and habits, and allows children to unleash their imaginations and draw freely. To aid in detailed observation, it provides a digital magnifier for observing intricate features like stamens and leaf wings. Lastly, it provides relevant biodiversity knowledge about the observed features and plants. Briefly, this tool is crafted with VueJS, Flask, and Firebase. We use some of the shelf algorithms to implement features like contour generation, color recognition, texture recognition, and and use expert inspection to extract information from a naturalist data site. To test the bio sketchbook, we conducted a short-term raising subject user study with 19 children. The results indicated a moderate engagement level. Further analysis showed all subscores were about Three. However, the control score was relatively low, which can be explained by some occasional bugs of the system. The endurability and interest scores tested high level engagement. Meanwhile, in the post interviews, children expressed uh, enjoyment and willingness to use the system again. Regarding observational practice, 
we found children retained more factual information in their minds after observations comparing the pre- and post-assessments. During the observations, children could also record more factual information in their drawings. Inspired by the screen time tension between parents and children in nature-based activities found by Sabakawas, we calculated the proportion of time they spent on observations after, rather than on screen. The result showed that Bell sketchbook didn't cause children to spend more time on the screen due to the introduction of novel features. Instead, the system encouraged children to look up and observe more. We also noticed that the tool significantly enhanced children's interaction with plants by prompting their observation behaviors and promoting their interest in plants. From our research, we can tickle with three key points. First, digital tools, when designed thoughtfully, can get children's attention towards more in-depth, structured observations without undermining their innate curiosity-driven exploration. Second, implementing digital magnifiers can boost children's engagement and interest in nature, paving the way for future research to explore other technological enhancements that could amplify children's perceptions of natural elements. Lastly, fostering empathy towards natural organisms in children can inspire behaviors that protect the environment, suggesting the potential role of future interactive technologies in promoting pro-environmental attitudes. To conclude, our contributions are threefold. We extend traditional observation te techniques by incorporating a three-dimensional scaffolding framework, designed and developed by a sketchbook, and conducted an in situ user study to evaluate its effectiveness. Thank you for your attention. A special thanks to all of my colleagues and participants.